there will always be some people that value money over you. Hi, I'm Didi. I'm a narcissist survivor and I publish some videos about relationship every day. So if you want to follow me, follow me and you will be notified every time I publish a new video. So I have a question from one of my followers, Carl. Thank you very much for your question. And by the way, if you want to ask me a question, okay, don't hesitate to comment below this video and let me know. Carl is asking me the following question. Hi, Didi. My girlfriend, who is 29 years old, just broke up with me because I don't make 200K per year. My ex broke up with me today. She's a pharmacy manager at my local pharmacy where I used to work back in college. She wants me to spend one year salary on a wedding and uh, I would try to catch up with her salary as I make only 150k per year. But uh, it was very difficult and uh, she said that uh, she would not be able to sign up for this. Okay, so Carl, uh, I'm very sorry for what happened to you. This is terrible. Um, I cannot imagine what you're going through right now. I'm going to give you my version of the story and I have kept the best suggestion for the end of this video. So if you want to know the best decision I would make, stay until the end. I'm, I'm really very sorry, Carl. I mean, this is a terrible, terrible situation. And I have really troubled to figure out how you're feeling right now. I just want you to, uh, to know that she was a gold digger and uh, there was nothing that would have made her happy. You mentioned that you were on uh, 100K per year and she was on 200K per year. And then she, you were trying to catch up with her um, and you tried to make uh, 150 and then it was even harder for you and you tried to work somewhere else. Just remember that you would never have made her happy. She would never have been satisfied and she would have asked you to make 300K per year very quickly. So you made the right decision to end this relationship. I think you're very resourceful and very wise uh, and it proves how genuine person you are. She was just not able to give you unconditional love. So when you meet somebody that is unable to give you this kind of love, there's no way out. So I would say try to know your value because she wasn't able to see that and try to focus on yourself and try to focus on investing in yourself and growing your career without her. I would say like, it's great that she's not here anymore because you're gonna have plenty of time to focus on yourself and your future. And you won't have to be worried about how much money you make per year anymore. I mean, a good relationship shouldn't be based on how much each of the characters in the relationship are making. A relationship is based on trust and kindness. So she was really unable to see that and she wouldn't have been able to give you what you deserve. And see on the positive side, okay, on the bright Whoa! side, she was pretty much transparent from the start. She, she actually told you what was the most important for her according to her family. Uh, so money is very much important and the money that she was going to spend on her wedding would have been uh, uh, incredible. I mean, it would have been, uh, I would say, unreal. I mean, also thinking that her family uh, wouldn't be involved. Normally, that's the bride's family to pay uh, the wedding or to pay for half of the wedding. So I don't understand why she would expect you to pay for all of this, uh, which which she said was one year uh, salary was actually uh, cons 
corresponding to one year salary, that is insane. So I wanted to see that side, okay? But there is another perspective to see this situation. So I think your girlfriend might have been as well very insecure. And I think she was, she wanted to put you on the spot to see how much you love her and how much we can do for her. Because of her insecurities, she, she raised the bar super high to see how high you can go. Which shows how much she was trying to manipulate you. And uh, that is simply not, uh, not fair. Another way to see things is she maybe she had already uh, seen the light about you. Maybe she was, she, I mean, because she value you, she value money over you. Maybe you were not good enough for her anymore. And she tried to push you to the end uh, to, make, uh, to make the relationship breaks. I mean, I know it's terrible to think that way, but uh, there is some... Uh, big manipulative women out there as well, not only men, and women can really push men uh, to the edge to see how far they can go. So maybe she did that. Keep that in mind. You have to understand that you were just a mean to an end for her. You were not a partner. So you made the right decision. She obviously didn't care for you. And... Uh, I think you could be grateful that this relationship is over. So then you can focus on yourself okay? and you can use the money that you make from your work to grow your career, wow. to grow yourself instead of being depend on her, depending on her. I mean, you would have been depending on her all your life. And remember, like, just see how it would have been if you had married her. It would have been such a hell. So I keep the best for the end, Carl. So hear me out. Here is my favorite, favorite, favorite answer for you, Carl. I would say you need to know your boundaries and you need to know your worth. Because if you don't know that, you will always have some people that try to step over you. And that's what your girlfriend was trying to do. So once you know your worth, you can establish how far you want to go, how far you're willing to go. And when it's too much, it's just too much. And just remember, so um, if you have any questions, you can comment below or tell me what you think. How would you have dealt with this situation yourself? Do you think Carl made the right decision? I want to hear from you guys, so don't hesitate. Also, please, if you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more relationship questions and relationship tips to be happy and successful in life. Okay. I'm going to close the curtains and then I will see you in my next video. Namaste. So if you are right now in a narcissistic abuse situation, I can definitely help you. The only thing you have to do is to click in my bio and to book a class pack with me and I will show you how to do it. And remember, you are strong, you are beautiful, you can do it. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.